All right, let's take a live look outside, and we are seeing plenty of clear skies out there with temperatures in the 70s this evening. Chief Meteorologist Mike Nelson, uh, we should really enjoy this because uh, it's not going to stick around forever. Well, it is getting toward late October. Yeah. At some point, things are going to change, but sure. not for a couple more days. Matter of fact, tomorrow will be even warmer than it was today, so awfully nice out there. Pearl Street Mall, Boulder, looking nice this evening. Still a fair amount of leaves on those trees. We have some wind coming up in the extended forecast along Along with colder temperatures, that'll take a lot of the leaves down. 67 at 7 p.m., 56 by 9 p.m., and 50 by 11 p.m. Today, we're in the upper 70s. 77 was the high. That's well above the average of 64, but shy of the record of 86 set back in 2003. Right now, it is still 75 degrees at the airport and downtown at our studios. 10% relative humidity, falling pressure, winds from the north-northeast at 13. Cool air continues across the Great Lakes and the northeast. Warm, dry conditions to the west. It's been in the 90s out in California this afternoon. We have not 90s, but 80s in our forecast for tomorrow in the Denver area. Overnight, clear skies for most of the state. Some high clouds drifting into western Colorado by morning. Low temperatures, 41 at Grand Junction, 24 at Leadville, 22 Gunnison and Alamosa. 40s along the I-25 corridor and some 30s out on the eastern plains. In the high country, 20 at Kremlin and 21 at Walden, but most of the rest of the mountains in the 30s. And on the plains, there'll be 40s in the Denver area, some 30s up in the South Platte Valley in Weld County. Clear, a nice morning tomorrow by midday. Sunny and very warm conditions expected. And by the end of the day, a few high clouds over the mountains, clear skies on the plains. The temperatures tomorrow right around 80 for the Denver area. The record high tomorrow is at 83. Mountains will be in the 50s and 60s. A scattering of 80s across the eastern plains. A dry day for tomorrow. Not as windy tomorrow, so the fire danger is not as high in the eastern plains, but it's still awfully dry out there. Be careful. Still dry on Friday and on Saturday, but here comes the cold front. And by late in the day, some showers develop out near the Utah border. That front sweeps by on Sunday. I think a fairly decent snow event for the mountains Sunday into early Monday. Rain showers on the plains, maybe a touch of snow, and some strong winds will be developing early next week. So here's the seven-day. Tomorrow's 80. Friday 78 and Saturday 77. Sunday things start to change as that front comes through. This is the snow and rain forecast as we're looking for Sunday and Monday. Mountains may see a good three to six inches of snow above 9,000 feet. It'll be much cooler next week. A little snow and rain on the Northeast Plains, perhaps including Denver early Monday. Bronco game Sunday, a very different one is from some of the nice weather they've played in. Maybe this will change things. 57 at 2 p.m., 48 by 6 p.m. with rain showers possible. After that, Monday, we may have a little rain and snow in the morning, perhaps enough. A tenth of an inch is what we'd need to be the official first snow. And then Tuesday morning, 28, a windy, cool day Tuesday with 52. Next Wednesday, back to 60.